Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. We are diving headfirst into heating season 2025-2026. Simultaneously, the viewership for the boiler videos we have uploaded is going up, as well as the comment rate for those videos. I read every single comment that comes in, and I try to respond to as many as humanly possible. And while I sit on my couch at night and read these comments, I have begun to notice that a few of our viewers are tragically uneducated on hydronic heating systems and how they work. So I love hydronic heating systems. I love working on them, installing them, reading and learning about them. I don't possess all of the knowledge. No one does. But the small amount of knowledge that I do have, I would love to share with others. So this video series is going to be a multi-part series based on individual aspects of boilers that people have questions on or do not understand. With that being said, that's going to bring us to our first talking point, which is the lack of an external air elimination device on Weil McLean cast iron non-condensing boilers. You'll see here that we are inside of the Weil McLean WGO installation and operations manual, uh, very similar installation practice to their CGI and CGA gas models. On the right hand side under standard equipment all the way down, you'll see the final bullet point says that it has a built in air separator. So on page 20 of the manual, you can scroll down and see that they have piping arrangements for zone circulators and zone valves. Neither one of these arrangements show an external air eliminator because it is not required for the proper function of the system. If you scroll down to page 21, they have a primary secondary piping arrangement for in-floor radiant, so on and so forth, and that does not show an external air eliminator either. So if reading the manufacturer's installation manual wasn't convincing enough, I'll happily explain how Weil McLean got away with this and why it works on countless residential and commercial boilers. And to understand that, you must first understand how an air eliminator or air scoop functions. We will talk about the air scoop more specifically because that's what's the closest match to how the Wild McLean front section works, although both air scoops and air eliminators function very, very similarly. In order for an air scoop to work its best, it needs to have three basic things. Low pressure, slow moving water, and very hot water. This is why a properly installed air scoop is piped as close to the boiler block as humanly possible on the supply side because that's where the hottest water is. In addition to that, the air scoop is more bulbous than the piping that it is attached to because that's where it is able to slow down the flow by increasing the surface area that the water occupies. High temperature, slow moving, low pressure water is the ideal setup for removing air from the system. And that's why an air scoop works so well. Those air bubbles fall out of suspension and are scooped literally up through the top portion of the air scoop through the high vent that is threaded into it. So taking those three principles that we just learned, we will use that to understand why the Weil McLean air scoop that's built in works so well and why a secondary device is more of a redundancy and not required. The air scoop on a Weil McLean is a unified part of the frontmost section of the boiler block. That in and of itself is where the absolute hottest boiler water temperature could possibly be in the entire system. That's part one. Part two and three are the low pressure and slow moving boiler water required to remove the air. We can think of the boiler block as a large pipe essentially, and it's the largest pipe in the entire heating system. So we've now learned that we have all three of the total requirements we need to effectively eliminate air. While McLean knew about these concepts when they were designing their cast iron boilers, and that's why the frontmost section has the integrated scoop to begin with. That's why the half inch tapping is there. And that's also why the circulator is pictured where it is in the manual. So in closing, this is why you won't see an external air eliminator or air scoop on our Wild McLean cast iron boiler installs. We've read the manual, we understand how air needs to be eliminated, and we know that we don't need one on our particular boiler. Now, that being said, other brands, uh, and that's being most of them, do need an air eliminator on the boiler. So take this information with a grain of salt and realize that this is really only for certain brands and certain models. In addition to this small bit of knowledge, read the manual for any piece of heating equipment that you're installing. Doing so is almost going to guarantee that you're doing a high quality and safe installation for your customer that's gonna last and work for a long time. And most importantly of all, you won't look like a fool when you comment about things on the internet that you don't know about. 
All kidding aside, I hope this was a good and enjoyable video. I would like to make some more of these down the road, depending on what comments we get and what questions I receive. If you enjoyed content like this, please let me know. Drop a comment down below and keep me updated on what videos you guys want to see. Thanks for sticking around until the end, and we'll see you guys on the next video.